Hey guys, welcome back to Fatal Era Gaming. This is your host, Fatal. I know it's been quite a while, guys, since I've actually done a video, and uh, so hopefully, you know, you guys will be looking forward to this. Um, I've actually been doing a uh, test on the Mercury and Strider, the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury and the um, uh, Razor Strider, um, but this is kind of going to be in between. Um, Eddie sent this uh, Long Tinge Hyun 2 Esports mouse pad out to me, and I've actually got another one I'm going to be doing a uh, first initial impression on as well. But this mouse pad is phenomenal. So, anyways, without wasting a bunch of time, when you get the box here, it's obviously, you know, really, uh, as I like to say, artsy fartsy. Um, they did a real good job on these boxes, and the art is just phenomenal, you know. Um, you know, it really uh, makes a difference to me when they spend the little extra money to make these uh, containers and stuff that the box that the mouse pad comes in uh, look really good. So, anyways, all the information you need to know about the pads are going to be on the side of your box. You know, so we're not going to spend two years on this, but there you go. And uh, yeah, so let's get this out of the way. And I've already got the mouse pad actually out of the box. So let's look at this baby. Oh yeah, that is freaking awesome. And you notice, as soon as I put it on there, all the colors on my desk freaking pop. Take it off, look at that. It's like the camera's like, ooh, I love that. That is beautiful, guys. That is a nice, awesome looking pad. So when you get it out of the box initially, it's gonna have a little bit of roll on the edge of it, and um, which will go away. Uh, you know, I I've gotten freaking over 30 something mouse pads, and some are worse than others like the Rocket Jump Ninja uh, pad. That thing, they need to make a bigger box for that. But anyways, that is just a beautiful pad, guys. Um, you know, your stitching up here on this pad is just freaking phenomenal. Um, it's not raised. It's not very raised and stuff. It's, it's not going to bother my arm, I can tell you that already. I mean, I can feel it a little bit on my arm, I guess, but not much. But dude, look at those colors. They just pop. But I would like to thank uh, I'm Big Cal and, uh, of course, Adis for sending this pad out. And, you know, it's just freaking awesome that how they do their community and stuff sometimes. And, you know, I can't uh, be thankful enough that these guys take the time out to send me uh, these pads and stuff to, you know, to try out. I will be streaming this probably with this pad for about a week. And uh, I hope you guys will drop in on the stream, you know, and come check me out and uh, while I'm using this pad. Um, I do enjoy when you guys drop in and stuff and I uh, would love to hear from y'all and what you think about the pad and any questions you guys might have. Um, right now, for me, it kind of has, I don't really like to compare other people's products, but you know, I know you guys wanna hear that, okay? Um, personally, me, the pad is all its own and <clears throat> If I had to compare it to one pad from the filling right now, um, out of the freaking 40 something pad, around 40 that I have, um, GSR SE. I know Addies probably don't wanna hear that or any of you other guys, you know, that that like these freaking uh, eSports mouse pads. But, you know, every pad has a kind of resemblance to another pad and it's useful for you guys to know so when you get it, how, it, how it's gonna feel. But, you know, the mouse pad itself, that's how it feels to me. It's got a good cloth feeling to it. Um, the Glide is, like I said, it kind of feels like the uh, Zowie GSR SE. But, you know, and I'm not talking about that new one they came out with. Um, I'm talking about the, uh, the original, um, the blue one. And so, yeah, guys. If you think you might want this pad, you know, you can always head over to Ad East right now and uh, get you one. And don't forget to use uh, code Fatal Error and get a discount on this if it's something you want. Um, but for about a week, like I said, I'm going to be testing this pad and then I'm going to get the next one out. I have another one from these guys. And, uh, but man, just look at, look how it made all my colors pop, dude. Freaking just as soon as I freaking laid it on there. I mean, my freaking keyboard, my camera loves it. You know, look, my camera's not going up and down with the light and stuff and everything. As soon as I take it off there, it freaking just messes up. 
But anyways, I don't want to make this a 10 minute video on a first, uh, first initial impressions. Um, I do love the, the bottom of it. Uh, that is not going to slip on, the, on my desk, I can tell you that right now. Um, and um, the only thing that I see that some players might be worried about is the logo up here in the corner. Um, it is not pressed into the mouse pad. It's actually just a freaking uh, sticker put on it. Um, you know, it's, you know, I don't see anybody getting their mouse up there. But I love how they got it set here in special edition, you know. And uh, so the art just doesn't stop at that, you know. I love how they put it up here and not down here in the corner. So that was really smart on their part. I am Big Cow. Eddie's. I love you guys. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys will drop in as well on one of my streams, and hopefully I won't be raging at someone. And, uh, you know, enjoy your time uh, that you spend with me, and uh, ask me any questions you want to ask. Um, just follow me on Twitter. All you got to do is look on my uh, link tree. has all the links you need. And also, um, Twitch. Please follow me on Twitch. Subscribe. I would love some subscriptions. That would be awesome. But anyways, with all that being said, this is Fatal. Signing out.